So it's been a busy Saturday today. I've been trying to dial in the rock gobbler. Calling Davy Crockett's mum. Siri, I said rock gobbler. So I've read all your comments and suggestions and I came up with a few of my own. Let's check it out, see what I've done. Hi and welcome back to the channel. I can tell by the comments that you guys are all eager for another instalment. So we've got a trilogy for you today. Let's go and check out, see what I've been up to. concept of my basic design. Bear in mind, I've made this from nothing more than what I found in my garage on a Saturday morning, just to get over this little problem, which we've all identified. So there we go, seems to be working okay. Uh, got a high powered magnet here, just doing the, uh, the retention while it's coming backwards and forwards. It's not a full chat at the moment, because it's only ticking over. Things that I've had to, uh, work on troublesome things I found were the spacing of the teeth inside the bucket here so I had to make sure that um, these little spaces here were actually spaced at the correct distance it's all a bit Heath Robinson but at the end of the day I'm no engineer I'm just somebody messing about in their own workshop at home on a Saturday morning with what I've got lying around but I seem to have overcome the problem and I think it's going to work okay so only time will tell. Let's get it all welded up and um, sorted back, tidied up, and see what we end up with. Now bear in mind, all of this has just been made with whatever I found in my workshop at home. I've gone out and bought nothing. This is all just stuff laying around about in the workshop, so nothing special. Okay, so here we go. There's a handle here for lifting, which is quite useful. I've got a chain on the back here, which is the stop, to stop it from going too far one way or the other. I've got a small guard down here. This actually looks like an old radiator um, bracket, so I've just recycled that. So here we've just used a piece of stainless steel, and here was actually part of a friend's helicopter of all things. Um, it was just a piece of steel I had laying around because this piece here wasn't actually big enough to do the job. I needed to extend it, and as you've seen previously in this video, um, I did try and use um, different methods like round pole and stuff like that to uh, try and make the transition nice and smooth between the actual hard ox teeth and the plate with the, with the guard. Um, either way, they both work really well. Um, I just extended this down. This, as you've seen, it lifts and falls under its own weight and it guards against stuff falling over the back and down what used to be quite a big hole here. And that is where the ram is. I don't know if we can quite see that, but I'm sure you've already seen it because half of you in the comments have said, oh, what about stuff going down into the ram? And yes, you're right. So thanks very much for all the ideas of conveyor belt and um, horse matting and rubber and all that, that sort of stuff. Um, I woke this morning on the weekend and I just thought, well, hey, there must be something I can do. Looks like we've got an old um, weightlifting bar here that I used across the back. It's really thick, solid steel bar and I've welded on um, the extra bolt here, which was just a bit smaller to go through the eye here, but still giving plenty of play to be able to move uh, if anything gets caught in there. So hopefully nothing will anyway, but we'll give it a go and see what happens. When you chuck the stuff into the mouth here, the plate's going to crush it up as we've seen, and then any additional stuff that gets munched around inside the bucket will come up against the plate or up against the uh, restrictor up here and even if something does fall over the back now there's absolutely no way anything big enough or troublesome enough is going to get down into the ramp and cause me any problems so now I can carefree throw in pretty much anything light and, and I don't have to worry about it anywhere near as much as I did before and that will probably please half the people in the comments so if you've enjoyed the videos please like and subscribe it really helps the channel keep the comments coming it's great to hear from you so see you next time cheers so thanks again for joining me on the channel. It's been really good having you along for the ride. 
obviously didn't know quite where I was going to go with this. Um, it was a voyage of discovery. Everybody's chipped in, given me some ideas and uh, helped along the way. Um, obviously, we've encountered a few naughty trolls, which has been interesting. Um, you never quite know where a project like this will go, especially when you put it onto social media. Um, you know, it's crazy stuff sometimes. You just wouldn't believe the stuff that comes across my desk. Calling Davy Crockett's mum. Siri, for fuck.